Hello, welcome to alikipedia.com. Uh, let's talk about IR spectroscopy today. My name is Ali Sudes. I'm computational chemist, motivational speaker, MD of ACA, and ITA instructor. What IR spectroscopy is, we're going to talk about this in detail today, IR spectroscopy. IR spectroscopy is the spectroscopy which deals with the IR region with the IR region of the electromagnetic spectrum that is light with a longer wavelength and lower frequency than visible light. For example, this is a, a light, consider this is right. Um, for example, we have a, for example, we have this region. In this region, as you know, there is gamma ray, x-ray, U, U, UV, visible, IR, micro, and finally, radio. Okay, you can see that when we go from left to right, the frequency decreases while the wavelength increases. It means that the, the, the radio wave has the highest frequency wavelength while the lowest frequency. Or energy. In here, the gamma ray, the gamma ray has the highest energy while the lowest frequency, no, not frequency, sorry, the wavelength. So this is how you can know about the uh, about the spectrum, IR spectrum. Okay. So this is the I. It, it deals with the IR, as the name indicates. IR. It it uh, deals with the IR of the electromagnetic spectrum, and IR spectroscopy is analysis of IR light interacting with molecule. For example, there is a molecule and uh, IR spectrum comes in here and it interacts with that molecule, okay, absorption happens and this can tell you about what this molecule is or what is in this molecule or how much is it. It means that it, it can tell you about the qualitative and quantitative. I'll explain this one by one. Further, Okay, so this is the qualitative identification of organic and inorganic compound used for checking the presence of functional group. Like while this the bond is C N O H N H etc. So it can tell you about the functional group on a molecule. It can also be used for quantitative measurements of compounds. From the peaks of the IR, you can say that what is the quantity okay each compound had has its own ir absorption spectrum uh, it means that it will absorb its own ir it will absorb different and it will absorb different so therefore there are regions in the ir as well and we're going to explain those regions uh, in the in, in next slides okay then uh, the wave number with unit of per centimeter unit of per centimeter is commonly used. The new wave number, we say it wave number. Now, uh, for example, you take a one centimeter place and in this location, the number of waves, this is called the wave number. So in one centimeter, therefore we say one wave number is the number of waves of radiation per centimeter. In one centimeter location, what is in the, uh, how many waves are there in the, one centimeter that is called the wave number okay so the ir spectrum it has regions and uh, sorry uh, the ir region has lower energy than visible and higher than microwave uh, for example this is this is the region we say the gamma the girl who is your ex o mama o mama is very interested in me, Rahman. Okay, so this is the mnemonic. You, if you want to learn the mnemonic, you can also say the girl who is your. So we call it gamma. The girl who is your X X ray is very interested in me, Rahman. It means if we go from left to right in this series, like the one I, 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 I draw, uh, in this you. When you go from here to here, what happens? 
the infrequency decreases while the wavelength increases. It means this is has, it has the highest wavelength while it has the highest frequency. This is how you should know. Okay, now uh, you know that uh, there are three regions and these regions are given in here. You can see these regions. The first one is near IR which is 750 nanometer to 2500 nanometer. 750 to 2500. Mid IR 25 from here to 2500 to 20,000 a comma here and the far a year is 20,000 to 400,000 the comma is here sorry so this is the comma now the region you know like we talked about this region that it has a different region we can also write like uh, this region is 0 0.8 to 2.5 mu okay maybe you'll have seen this that it has this region uh, and you can convert it uh, like we say that the new bar <coughs> this is equal to 1 over lambda what this is over 1 over lambda so when you take it in this move you can convert it into uh, you can convert it into per centimeter you can convert this to per centimeter so how will you convert this to per centimeter uh, for example, you want to convert 0 0.8, write 0 0.8 divided by, now you will write, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, my mistake, if you want to convert, so we say that this is equal to, nu bar is equal to 1 over lambda, we say this one, right? Now, you want to convert this into wave number, so wave number is 1 divided by, write this 0 0.8, want to convert to per centimeter, Therefore, you should write 10 to the power minus 4 and it will become 10 to the power 4 and into 1 divided by 0 0.8. And this will give you finally one value and that value is, let me first remove this, and that value is, I'm going to write the value here, that value is just one value and that is 12,500. Okay? You can do by yourself too, but how can you just uh, calculate this? If you want to know about the 2.5, if you want to convert the 2.5, do it the same. And you will, when you will do this, 2.5, 1 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 4, it will give you a simple value that is 4,000 per centimeter. Okay? So it means that this is 12,500 to... 4,000 centimeter per centimeter, 4,000 per centimeter, okay? And you can also do this one, the, the rest as well. For example, uh, the next, uh, uh, there is, the in the mid-IR, you can see the mid-IR is 2,500 to 20,000. You can convert each value to wave number. How can you convert? I'm going to tell you. This value is equal to uh, 2500 in this one. So we can write it as 2.5 to 15 micrometer, micron, okay? This one, if you want to convert this value, you can convert this with the same procedure. You can just take 1 divided by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 4, okay? This is the same. It will give you six six seven. What? Sorry. What did I do? Two point five. Yes, this one. And this two point five. This give you no, it give you uh, the sorry, it will give you two point five will give you four thousand. Okay. Uh, and one divided by fifteen. One by fifteen enter. 10 to the power 4, do you understand now that the 10 to the power 4 will give you the value of 667. So this 667 comes actually with here. Now, the far IR, you can see the far IR, IR and you can uh, calculate with the same value. And the far IR will give you, uh, what, 15 to, wait, just let me remove these. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. I can just do it. 15 to 200 micrometer, 
and it will give you the 15 to this one so this value is this value is 667 it means this is also 667 and the value of in here which is uh, 200 meter micron and uh, this will be 100 100 per centimeter okay it means the value is from uh, 12,500 to 4,000, 4,000 to this one, 667, uh, I think you can understand, I just, you can also calculate by yourself in this way, nu bar is equal to 1 or lambda, and you can just divide by lambda, and you can get your uh, final value, so it means that if you want to know, uh, this is very easy, the I'm going to write the final one in here and the final is the near IR it will give you 0 0.8 to 2.5 micron and this value is actually 12,500 per centimeter to 4,000 per centimeter okay the mid IR is actually which is also called main IR but the mid IR this is 2.5 to 15 mu and this is equal to 4000 to 667 per centimeter and this is 667 per centimeter to 100 per centimeter these are the final values you can also calculate by yourself and this is 15 to 200 okay micron sorry micron yeah okay this is the value okay now you can see that to one zero point eight this one it will give the near ir which is 7 15 nanometer to 2500 or 12500 to 4000 centimeter the mid ir is 2.5 to 15 micro uh, which is mu uh, which is uh, 2500 to 20 200000 sorry 20000 nanometer you can see this is 20000 nanometer or this is 4000 to 667 uh, the far IR is 15 to 200 meter micro mu and it will give you the value of uh, 20,000 to 400,000 nanometer or 67 to 100 per centimeter now you can remember you can remember these values this is up to you how do you remember but you can just do the calculations if you want by new bar is equal to 1 over lambda and you should know about the lambda what the lambda is and it will give you the it will give you the per centimeter value which is required okay now uh, ab IR absorption by molecules uh, how it, are these absorbed molecules with covalent bonds uh, bonds may absorb IR radiation now uh, this is important that there should be a covalent bond and when there is a covalent bond uh, and when the IR comes and interacts with it for example we have a compound where a compound is like this okay and the IR it goes and it interacts with it and therefore it will give you uh, stretching and bending okay we're going to explain this later in the next slide absorption is quantized absorption is quantized molecules move to a higher energy state from this state to a higher energy state a year radiation is sufficient enough to cause rotation and vibration radiation between 1 and 100 1 and 100 micrometer will cause excitation to higher vibrational state while rotation higher than 100 will cause rotational state it means there are two states one is rotation one is vibration and one to hundred micron meter micrometer will cause vibrational state and more than hundred rotational one okay so these are important you should know about these one okay now the the IR which interacts with the sample it gives you the peak okay that gives you the p and it tells what which molecule is this or what functional group is there but for that you should know that uh, if you want to know 
the absorption spectrum is composed of broad vibrational absorption spectrum okay so molecule absorb radiation when a bond in the molecule vibrates at the same frequency as the incident radiation energy it means that uh, you uh, you have this incident light and the sample is here it means there will be different samples but no sample will absorb energy until and unless until and unless it has its frequency is same as the incident radiation okay so molecules vibrate at higher amplitude after absor absorption for example this is the amplitude for before this one but when the incident light comes this amplitude increases okay the amplitude increases like this <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> a very important point uh, after this is that a molecule must have change in dipole moment during vibration in order to absorb ir radiation it means it can absorb radiation ir radiation only only and only if there is a dipole moment so if someone asks you what is the requirement of the IR, you can say that a compound or the sample should have dipole moment. If it has a dipole moment, it means it will be IR active. And if and if it is not, uh, it has no dipole moment, so there will be it will not be IR active. Now this is the main main requirement you should know. Two compounds will never show similar IR spectra this is very important that there are two if two molecules they will not show never show same ir spectra until and unless uh, if they are not in enantiomer okay so this is very important point and you should know now the they absorb the light when they absorb the light the absorption of this frequency of the light depends upon masses of atoms in the bonds geometry of the molecule strength of the bond and some other contributing factors but these three are the main factors and you should know about these three factors that they depend up, depend upon uh, sorry the IR absorption depends upon these three main factors okay okay let's move to the dipole moment and how the dipole moment can be explained like the dipole moment which is mu is equal to Q into R it means that there will be a charge and the distance between the molecule this is this is the molecule for example these are the diatomic diatomic but not diatomic but not homonuclear these are heteronuclear diatomic molecule and this molecule uh, you see there will be a charge partial positive partial negative and there is the distance the between these two so the dipole moment is equal to q into r 